so we are going to set up the Scout Lee triggers on this video. So the first thing we need to open is the app. And uh, on the app, the first thing you open is the app. So on the app, you I already scanned the book, but to set up the triggers on the app, you need to tap the Scout Lee, where you see the Scout Lee name right at the top on gray. So you're gonna tap that right there. And once you tap that, now you have different options here, the settings. So we are going to look at the profit trigger setting, which is right there. So you want to tap that right there. And here you can set up triggers for different categories like DVDs, VHS, video games, and things like that. But in this case, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up the books uh, on the book category uh, triggers. So we're going to tap that right there. And, and, and in my case, I only have six templates which as you can see, I got one, two, three, four, six, and nothing else above that. Uh, to be pretty honest, I don't pay it too much attention. I don't follow the rules in these triggers a lot because I have been doing it for so long that I make my decision based on what I see on the app. But I understand as a beginner, you need to have some guidance. And, and if I was in just situation, this is probably how I will set up the triggers if I was in your situation. So the first trigger, the first template that we wanna see, uh, we wanna tap that, which is the number one. And as you can see right there, uh, the sell score. So this is the books that will sell very fast. This, the, this, uh, the books that, had a, that has a sell score of 100 and 200 and more, right? And that's how we are gonna tap that, right? Books that have 100 to 200. I'm going to type that in and those are the books that pretty much are going to sell right away very quickly they sell very fast and they probably have a very low rank as well so I, I'm, I'm, I'm right at the bottom I believe this books will be from the sales ranks from 1 to 250 so these books are the books that will sell very quickly so very fast it's a lot of demand for them so in this case I'm willing to take allow a lower profit on these books so i'm okay with taking a very low profit just because i know from experience that these books will turn my money very quickly so i'm okay with that so right above that sales rank from 1 to 250 we want to pick the use average sales rank here i want to require both that's the option that i picked so we want to type that in gray right there and that what we'll do, it will, it will require the average sales rank. I don't really know exactly what it does, but I require both in there just in case. Uh, for the minimum FMA price, we're not doing merchant fulfill in this case. I'm doing, we're probably doing F, FBA. So in this case, we want to type zero on there and leave that on blank as like I just did because we're not really competing with the, with the merchants. So we're going to skip that. So here, and the select the target price. So that means every time you scan a book, you just scan a book on the app, it will compare the price of the FBA. So here you can choose which FBA price you want to compare to, and which use offers and new offers you want to compare to every time you scan the book. So in my case, I always want to be compared to the lowest FBA. So if I scan a book, I want to make sure if that book is going to make me money being the lowest FBA price always. Uh, I know some people choose to be, you know, on to the, you know, the number two or three, but because I have a repricer and it's very aggressive, I'm always comparing. I just want to make sure if I pick this book today and I'm the lowest price at this moment, Am I still making any profit? And if the answer is yeah, I pick the book. So I always want to be compared to the lowest FBA. And I want to, if there's not an FBA, I want to be compared to the lowest use offer on that case. Uh, and if I'm doing the books in new condition, I always want to be compared to the lowest new. I don't want to be compared to the, you know, second or third highest. I always want to be, if that's just how I do it, you can do it as whatever you want to, but uh, I think it's better to know that 
the book that you are picking is gonna make you money even though that you are the lowest of that if you want to make any change after that that's on you but that's how I do it and to set the target price uh, I want to select the used buy box when the buy box is higher than the lowest FBA so in some cases the lowest FBA could be at 10 bucks but the, the person that has the buy box is a 12 bucks so in my case I have a repriser that reprise my books to the buy box so if that if that is that is the case on this situation when the use buy box is a little higher than the lowest FBA I want to be compared to that offer instead because that's probably the offer that I'm gonna compete with so if that's the case that's the only case that I will like to see you know I will see a higher price than the lowest price and as a beginner you probably want to be compared always to the lowest because you may not be uh, buy box eligible right away so you may want to be still be compared to that lower price always and then you can change the the, the, the triggers uh, as you you know as you start making some sales and you become buy box eligible this is for the new offers so I, I believe some you're probably going to sell only used books and things like that but if you're selling some new books uh, uh, I want to be compared always if the new offer is not FB it's not Amazon himself I don't want you know I want to be compared to zero percent for that offer so if the person is selling the book for fifty dollars new it's not Amazon I want the price to be fifty the app to compare that price to the fifty dollars I don't want to go lower than that and but if the new offer is actually Amazon selling that book in new condition I want to be five percent below of Amazon all the time so that's only for the if, this is only if you're doing new stuff so it doesn't matter much so in this case because the, this book sells pretty quickly I'm willing to take a very low profit which is two dollars so I have a minimum target profit here and this is where you set up the, the profit so here uh, I'm okay taking a two dollar profit because I know this book will, will sell pretty quickly in this category uh, the sell score is very high so I'm okay with taking a very low profit in this case so the second template we're gonna move on based on rank and sell score so in this case this is a template for the sell score of 50 to 100 and that has a sales rank of 250k to 500 these are books that will sell pretty quickly as well but not as quickly as the other one right the other ones could take a few days to sell maybe a week this one could take a week maybe two weeks so still pretty good this is a pretty good uh, range to f get books from because these books are gonna sell pretty quickly as well so I'm okay taking a lower price here as well so the, the the triggers here would be the same here I'm gonna require both so make sure when you require both it on gray like that and we're not doing any merchant here so we're gonna pick that as zero and the same deal here I always want to be compared to the lowest FBA to the lowest used offers FBA and I want to be compared always if I'm doing something new to the lowest new offers so here is basically the same and select the used buy box when the buy box is lower so we're gonna do that when it when it buy the buy box is higher and when the buy box is lower too I want to pick I want to make sure that the buy box is always lower so uh, the same deal you know if I'm comparing to Amazon as new I want to be 5% below Amazon so I want to make sure if I'm picking a book that is in new condition if I'm 5% below Amazon am I still profitable and that's why I picked this here on the 5% and here I'm um, we need to take a minimum profit of three dollars it's very low profit but it, this our books are gonna sell pretty quickly as well so I'm okay with taking a low a, a lower profit here and as you can see I didn't explain that but here you can see the color you can pick the colors that you want to pick when if the book is turning is profitable I pick the the green color so if something is profitable and is be, between the triggers it will turn green and the sound here you can pick different sounds but I always pick vibrate 
you know, I don't want when I'm scanning books in the trip or in a bookstore or something, I don't want to annoy other people. So you probably want to pick vibrate as the sound so that way you don't bother other people and you can do your scanning in private or, you know, just make sure you pick the vibrate instead of having a sound here. And, uh, and yeah, so the prop, the same thing, the temp, the third template would be the books with a sales score 25 to 50 with a sales rank of 500 to 1 million. And here our books are selling a little slower, but these are still very good books, but they're going to sell a little slower. They could take three weeks, maybe a month to sell. Uh, so here, you know, I got I to gotta up my pricing, the one, but it's the same deal. Use average sales rank. I want to compare it to that minimum. I always want to be the lowest, like always here. So I always want to pick the lowest uh, use offers to be compared to. And the same deal with Amazon, you know, 5% below Amazon if it's new. And here, you know, I, I, I got to take a $4 profit and up. Uh, maybe if you are a beginner, you want to up that up a little bit, maybe five or six. But because I'm, I'm been doing it for a lot, uh, I, I'm okay with taking four. And the same deal, the color green, sound is vibrate, vibration. So you don't make any noise every time the scanning books. And here we go. And then the same thing with the other template. Now I'm going to the higher rank books, which is the 1 million and 15 million uh, and, and 1.5 million, right? So here I got to take a higher profit, but I'm still comparing to the lowest FBA, lowest new use offer, lowest, lowest new offer as well, 5% below Amazon. And I take a minimum target there of five. Uh, I used to be more more I used to pick ten percent ten dollars profit in this category because now I'm doing more volume I'm okay taking five uh, as long as uh, I know the book will sell here and now going to the books 1.5 and above and 2.5 million uh, it's the same deal here I always pick the FBA office to be the lowest but that what changes here if the new because I know these books are gonna take a few months to sell, maybe a few weeks, month. It, I want to be ten percent below Amazon this time, and I'm also want to be ten percent of whoever if the new offer, a non FBA new offer too. So I wanna, I have to do, drop the price a little bit because I know books in this category sell pretty slow. So I had to basically undercut people here, and I want a minimum target profit here of ten bucks and above in order for me to consider, and the same deal. And with the last template that I have, which is the time 2.5 to 5 million, uh, it's the same deal here. I always want to be compared to the lowest, 10% off, and a minimum target profit here of $20, which is uh, in order for me to consider. But uh, like I said, I don't pay too much attention to these triggers anymore. I make, I make my decision based on, on what I see on the app every time I scan something. Uh, there's different situations where I pick a higher, uh, a lower profit book, but I understand that that book is probably going to sell quicker, but it does have a, a, sales, a higher sales rank. Just because of experience, I can pick books like that. A myth, you know, that you probably will hear a lot in the book community is that books above one million or two million don't sell or whatever stay away from them or whatever and that's farther from the truth from the truth i pay books about three million five million all the time and i sell those books the only thing is that you're picking books uh in that category that high you know you want to make sure that you're making enough profit to make up for for the fees and storage fees and things like that but books above a million will sell all the time. But as a beginner, I would recommend you to stay, you know, you can, your first month, maybe your first or second month, stay with, try to pick the books with the lowest rank, highest sell score. And because those are the books that are gonna sell very quickly for you. They're gonna turn your money very quickly. And that way you can get some momentum and you will be, you know, uh, 
making that money back into your bank account and then you can reinvest that money and once you have more money now you can be more open and getting books with a higher rank but as a beginner try to stay with the lower ranks highest sell score and get a lot of those get some momentum and you should be okay if you follow those rules and remember as long as you keep doing it you will get more experience so you as you get more experience you will be able to get more books and more books uh and and different with different ranks and different sales scores and things like that so if you like this video uh and you got any value from this video make sure you hit the like button and you subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on the next video